In this video, we'll show you how to use macros in PowerPoint. Macros can automate your tasks so you can create faster. Macros can also add functionality to slideshows. To show how to use PowerPoint macros, we need simple macros as examples. We'll use our Cube Maker and Sphere Maker tools. These macros are available as a free download from the link in the description of this video and provided here. Open the PowerPoint macro enabled file. Here's the most basic way to run a macro. We'll start with a 2D square. Select the square. Go to the developer tab and click macros. Select the make cube macro and click run. The macro has turned the 2D square into a 3D cube. To see this cube, view the shape from an angle. The make cube macro knows the dimensions of the square and adds 3D depth to the shape to create a perfect cube. Now let's see another basic method to run a macro. Clear the 3D depth value for the shape. This time, in the list of macros, double click the make cube macro. Double clicking a macro is another way to run it. Let's see that again one more time. This time, we'll work with more squares of various sizes. First, select all the squares and rotate them so we'll see the results immediately. Run the make cube macro again by double clicking it on the list. And as you can see, our macro works on multiple squares of any size. Next, we'll try resizing some of the squares. Be sure to maintain the aspect ratio by holding the shift key while resizing the shapes. You can see that manually resizing 3D formatted shapes does not automatically scale the 3D depth. We need to recalculate the 3D depth to maintain the shapes as cubes. Good thing we have the make cube macro that we can simply rerun to set the shapes back as cubes. Note that the macro also automatically recenters the cubes. If you have frequently used macros that you like to keep handy, you can add them to the ribbon or the quick access toolbar. Right click anywhere on the ribbon and select, customize the ribbon. Select, choose commands from macros. The available macros are listed here. In the Customize the Ribbon drop-down, select Tool Tabs, then click Shape Format in the Drawing Tools section. This is where we'll add our macros. Click New Group, then click Rename. Now select the macros and click the Add button to add them to our new custom group. Click OK, and you'll see the macros now ready in the Shape Format ribbon. Let's make them look nicer and easier to recognize. Go to Customize the ribbon again and locate our macros. Select the Make Cube Macro and click the Rename button. Shorten the name you want to be displayed on the ribbon. Select a suitable icon and click OK. Repeat the process for the Make Sphere macro. Click OK. Our macros now appear nicely on the ribbon. Let's test them out on more shapes besides squares. With the shapes selected, 
Go to the Shape Format tab. Simply click on the Make Cube Macro icon. The macro converts all 2D squares into 3D cubes and leaves all other shapes unchanged. This automatic checking has to be coded into the macro. Now click on the Make Sphere Macro icon. The Make Sphere Macro works on 2D circles just like the Make Cube Macro works on 2D squares. It checks that the shape is a perfect 2D circle and converts it into a 3D sphere. It works on circles of any size as well as on multiple selected shapes. Having the macros conveniently placed on the ribbon makes our workflow much quicker. We can access macros not just from within the file where the macro is kept. Here, we have a new presentation file with a couple of drawn 2D shapes. You can see that the macros work as expected. This works as long as we keep the file with the macros open. If the file is closed, the macros won't run and you'll get an error message as shown. Open the macro file and the macros will be working again. Download the free macros now, and give it a try. Watch this video again to see how to use any macros. Let us know in the comments what you think about using macros to improve your PowerPoint workflow efficiency. Introducing the 3D Sphere Wrapper Tool Focus on creating your unique and amazing designs. Let the tool automatically wrap your design around the 3D sphere. This tool is part of the online course, The Beginner's Guide to Creating PowerPoint 3D Models.